Hey guys, there could be light at the end of the tunnel. As the embattled leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipo Namdi Kano, has allegedly expressed willingness to negotiate with the federal government of Nigeria for his freedom, a source told news brand. Mr. Kano, who has been in the custody of the Department of State Service DSS after his extradition in June, 2020 by the former president Muhammad Buhari's administration is currently facing terrorism charge. In April 2022, Enyanko struck out eight of the 15 counts in the charge preferred against the separatist leader by the federal government. The remaining seven counts were also crossed by the Court of Appeal on October in, in October 13, 2022, with the judge ordering Cano's release. On October 28, 2022, the Court of Appeal granted a stay of execution on its verdict, discharging Cano after the federal government filed an appeal at the Supreme Court. On December 15, 2023, a five-member panel of the Appeals Court re reserved the verdict or reversed the, the, the verdict of the Appeal Court and ordered Kano to resume his trial before the Federal High Court, Abuja. Also, on March 19, 2024, a Federal High Court sitting in Abuja dismissed the fresh application Namdi Kano fight to be released on bail, pending the determination of the treasonable felony charge against him. Kano had in the application he fight through his team of lawyers led by Mr. Loi Jumako on February 5, 2024, prayed the court to grant him bail on most liberal terms owing to his deteriorating health. Rather, Binta Inyako, presiding judge, uh, ordered an accelerated hearing of the seven count terrorism charge preferred against Namdi Kano. However, following the, the legal and political boha which have characterized his trial, Mr. Kano, who is said to be so desperate to have his life back, has agreed to negotiate with the powers that be. An insider source told Newsbrand that the negotiation will accumulate to the much anticipated political solution, which stake stakeholders from the region have urged the various actors and entangled in the force in the face of to adopt, so as to uh, to address the 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 issue of agitations. The source said, "Yes." Mazin Namdekano has agreed to negotiate with the federal government. We are expecting to see something positive come out of the negotiation. Kano has taken the right step. Political solution is the way out of the situation. The Southeast region needs peace. At least, if Kano is released, most of these criminal elements tormenting the peace of the region under the guise of agitation will think twice. Though several attempts to reach the spokesman of IPOP, Mr. Emma Powerful, Powerful, to comment on the development failed as it could not be reached. Meanwhile, the Deputy Speaker of the House of Representatives, Honorable Benjamin Ukeze Kalo, has disclosed ongoing efforts to secure the release of the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, Mazinam Dekano. He emphasized the pursuit of political solutions alongside ongoing court processes. During a special edition of the Ben Carlos Mandate a radio program on Flow FM Umahia Abia State, Benjamin Carlo addressed inquiries regarding the involvement of the Peace in Southeast project in advocating for Namdi Kano's release. Carlos Kano stated the Peace in Southeast project has a reconciliation in the midst of what we are trying to achieve. 
we recognize the importance of our brother Namdi Kano in the peace agenda. We are pursuing. That is the truth. He stress his personal commitment to Kano's release, stating, I will never be happy having him incarcerated when we can have him out and increase our pursuit towards peace. Moreover, Ikalo highlighted uh, his lobbying efforts within the federal government, including discussion with President Bola Metinobu. He emphasized the need for Igbo elders to engage with the president addressing Kano's situation and other regional concerns. Kano appreciated Kano's recent statement condemning violence, stating, I am happy. He sounded that he sounded that warning. He urged unity and peaceful engagement, emphasizing support for the government while advocating for Kano's release. Benjamin Kalu further reiterated the importance of maintaining peace in the Southeast, expressing gratitude to the region's residents and organizations like Organize in Dubo for their support. He emphasized the need to balance advocacy for Kano's release with loyalty to the government and commitment to regional peace. So guys, what's your take on this? According to this report, they said the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Mazi Inamdi Kano, is now set to negotiate with the Nigerian government for his freedom. So guys, let's hear from you. Kindly drop your comment below the comment section. If you are just joining us, please subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you.